This is a 20 minute stretch routine for people who are not flexible. So if you're tight, stiff, holding tension, or just want to work on your flexibility, this is the right video for you. So clear some floor space and let's get to it. Starting on your back side, give the right knee a hug left hand on the right knee, draw that right leg across the midline of the body. Right arm can reach out to the side, opening up that right side of the chest, getting a nice stretch in the lower right side of the spine and opening up the right side of the chest. Taking this stretch gently to the point of slight discomfort. Feel free to gaze right, completing the twist. Releasing the head. Slowly begin to ease out of the pose. Bring the right leg back to center. Realign the knees, the hips, give both knees a little hug. And repeating that on the left side. Gentle hug with the left knee. Left arm can reach out to the side as the right hand gently draws that leg across the midline of the body. With the left hip going one direction and the left shoulder blade another. Try your best to keep that left shoulder blade flush against the mat. If it rolls off the mat, no worries. You're still getting that lower left spine stretch. Nothing forced. Allow your body to give in to the stretch. Option to turn the head left, completing that twist. Begin releasing the left leg back to center, realign the hips, give the knees a hug, releasing pressure off the low back. Settle the feet back to the mat, coming into our second stretch, hamstring stretch. Keeping the left knee bent, go ahead and extend the right leg, keeping as much of a bend in that knee as you need to. No pressure to straighten the leg or get it up very high. The further up you grab the leg for the hug, the more intense the stretch will be. So take whatever you need to feel the stretch. You can relax the foot or you can flex it for a more intense stretch. Option to extend the left leg onto the mat. Maybe you notice that hamstring eventually giving in to the stretch or just going a little bit deeper. Nothing forced. Keep that right glute relaxed and stay relaxed in the shoulders as best as you can. Finding your edge of the stretch just to the point where it starts to become pretty uncomfortable. Release that right leg back to the mat. Bending the left knee, give the left leg a nice little hug. Go ahead and extend the left leg as much as you can. Keep the knee bent as much as you need to. Keeping the ankle soft or flexing the foot for a more intense stretch. Take whatever options you need to feel the stretch. Everyone is different. You can try straightening the right leg if you choose. Feel that hamstring muscle lengthening, stretching. If you do a lot of sitting during the day, your hamstrings will be especially tight due to being in a flexed position most of the day. Stretching is basically doing the opposite of what we ask of our bodies throughout most of the day. Easing out of the stretch, pressing up to a seated position for butterfly, bringing the soles of the feet together. If you do have a few pillows or cushions around, you can always set them under the knees. 
Chances are, if you clicked on this video, the knees are probably off the mat, and that is totally normal. Extend the left leg, rotate the torso to your left, looking out beyond the foot, lengthening through the spine, hinging at the hips as if you're going to fold over the leg. The left knee might be a little bent here, so we're just turning the body in that direction. Stretch in that lower right side of the spine. Gazing toward the left knee, it doesn't matter how close or how far you are from the knee. Keep the neck soft, arms relaxed, softening through the lower right spine. Take your time easing up from the stretch. Bring the left leg back in. Now extending the right leg. The right knee might be a little bit bent and left knee might be up off the mat. Extending through the spine, rotating the torso to the right, hinging forward from the hips, gazing at that right knee. Softening into the lower left spine. Relax the neck, the shoulders. Let the arms just rest wherever they go. Slowly begin rounding back up. Let's make our way onto the hands and knees, lowering all the way down onto the belly for Sphinx pose. Propping up onto the elbows, pressing the palms into the floor. Elbows aligned under the shoulders and the legs just flopped open with a little bit of space between the feet. Try to keep some distance between your ears and shoulders. Don't collapse into the shoulders. Sphinx pose is a stretch for the lower back especially if you keep the glutes nice and soft, chin slightly dropped, placing our spine in another counter stretch position to a rounded spine that we're in most of the day. Go ahead and lower all the way down, resting the head on folded arms, keeping the legs wide. Bend both knees for this bonus stretch. Windshield wiper the lower legs inward. If you lie on your belly, think about trying these before getting out of bed in the morning to help wake up the back. Now begin pressing up to a seated position. Take a quick breather here. And give yourself a little pat on the back for doing something that might not always be so easy if you struggle with flexibility. We'll work our way onto hands and knees. Face whatever direction you'd like. Widen the knees, walk the hands a few inches in front of the shoulders, rounding the spine, slowly push those hips back as close toward the heels as you can get them. Child's pose. To make this a bit more comfortable, you can always place a small cushion between the hips and the heels. And if the forehead doesn't quite reach the floor, you can place a yoga block or a cushion under the head. If child's pose is just way too uncomfortable today, I do have a seated variation, which I'll demonstrate next. We can keep this an active pose by extending the arms forward in a reach or simply relaxing the arms or have the arms reach down at your sides, palms facing up for the passive version. Whatever feels good today. Slowly start easing out of the pose, rounding back up, and swing the legs around for our seated version of child's pose, sitting in cross-legged, whichever leg feels best to have in front. Extend the arms, grazing the mat with your fingertips, hinging forward at the hips, lifting the heels of the hands, clawing the fingers into the mat. Gently pulling the back side away from the hands, lengthening through the spine like we did in child's pose, 
Perhaps this version is more comfortable for you. Begin to ease out of the pose, walking the hands back in. Our next stretch is a really nice treat for the hips, reclining pigeon pose. Work your way onto your backside, bending both knees, settling the right foot on top of the left thigh. If this is too intense on that right hip, you can place less of a bend in the left knee. Whatever it takes for you to feel the stretch. Option to very gently direct the right knee forward. For a more intense version of this stretch, you can gently hug the left thigh toward the chest. You choose how far to take this. Keeping the shoulders relaxed as best as you can. Now, if you are hugging the left thigh, go ahead and release the left foot back to the mat. I think you're going to like this part. Reach the arms out to the sides, palms down. Let the legs fall all the way over to the left. As far as it feels comfortable, maybe that right foot comes all the way to the floor. Perhaps noticing a deep stretch down the lower right spine. Try your best to keep the right shoulder blade flush against the mat. This opens the right side of the chest and enhances your pigeon stretch. Easing out of the pose, bring the legs back up, uncross the legs, extend the legs, give them a little shake out. Now we'll repeat that same stretch on the left side, bending both knees, crossing the left foot on top of the right thigh. Once again, if this is too intense, simply place less of a bend in the right knee, directing the left knee forward. It's pretty typical to have one hip feel tighter than another. Option to make this a more intense stretch by hugging the right thigh toward the chest. Keep the shoulders as relaxed as possible. A pretty deep stretch in the left hip. Any version of this pigeon pose is one of the most intense hip stretches you can possibly do. If you are hugging the right leg, return the right foot back to the mat. Reach the arms out to the sides, palms down. Let the legs fall to the right as far as they'll go. Perhaps the left foot meets the floor. Left knee pointing as straight up as you can. Keeping the left shoulder blade against the mat. Hopefully you're feeling a really nice stretch down that lower left spine and across the left side of the chest. Start bringing the legs back to center, uncross. Give the legs a good shake out. They've been bent for quite a while. Rock it up to a seated position for a quick internal hip rotation. Leaning back onto the hands, fingertips pointing behind you. Bend both knees. Widen the feet as best as you can isolating the right leg to drop the knee inward. Try not to change anything with the left leg. Drop that right knee inward. That might be enough for you. Otherwise, lower down onto the elbows. Option to rest that left foot on top of the outer right leg, inviting gravity to take you deeper into the stretch. Stay here if you are feeling the stretch enough and it's on the verge of being uncomfortable. Otherwise, even more intense yet, lowering all the way down on your back, reaching the right arm straight back behind the head. 
and resting the left hand on the belly. When we think of stretching the hips, we tend to think about opening the hips. Yet we also have to keep in mind that it's really important to include internal rotation stretches, which is exactly what we're doing here. Take your time easing out of this stretch. You can stay flat on your back or sit up and take a quick breather before we do the left side. If you happen to be enjoying these hip stretches, check out my hip mobility playlist, which will come up on the screen at the end of this video or in the link below. Legs are wide, both knees bent, leaning back, fingers pointing back. Drop that left knee inward. Option to rest the right foot on the outer left leg or lowering onto the elbows. Only going as far as you need to, to feel the stretch. Remember, we want to go just to that point where the stretch is a bit uncomfortable. So you're not alone there. Option to lie all the way down on your backside, reaching the left arm back behind the head, right hand on the belly. Closing the eyes helps to bring more awareness to the body as we experience any sensations we're feeling from the stretch. Slowly start easing out of the stretch. Rocking up to a seated position. Getting ready for banana stretch. Everyone's favorite. Shake it out. Take a breather. Lower back down onto your back. Straighten the legs. Cross the right ankle over the left. Reach both arms back behind the head. The left hand gently grabbing the right wrist. If this isn't feeling too great on the shoulders or arms, fold the arms across the chest. Pressing the right hip into the floor. A nice lateral stretch down that right side of the body. Ease out of the stretch. Now crossing the left ankle over the right, reaching both arms back. Now the right hand grabbing the left wrist and pressing the left hip into the floor, opening that whole left side of the body, creating space. We forget to stretch in a lateral direction. Ease out of the stretch and give both knees a hug. Take this opportunity to stretch the ankles, hug that right leg in, draw large circles with the toes, isolating the movement only from the ankle. Then reverse your direction. Go beyond the comfort zone. Ankle flexibility is crucial because that's what helps prevent us from falling. Give that right leg one more hug releasing some pressure off the lower spine. Now same with the left side, big circles, isolated movement, different directions. You might hear some cracking. Settle that foot back to the mat. Now keeping the knees bent, widen the feet, windshield wipers, a dynamic internal and external rotation of the hips, alternating, dropping the knees inward, maybe feeling the hips loosening up by now. A dynamic version of the static stretch we did earlier. Just about wrapping it up. Bring the legs back in. Either rock it up or press up to a seated position. Ready for our big finale. We cannot do a stretching session without cat-cow stretch. Come onto your hands and knees. Align the shoulders over the wrist and the hips over the knees. Drop the belly, lift the chest and the hips. Then round the back, tucking the tailbone, hanging the head. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. This one always feels so good. Exhale, rounding the spine, caving in and scooping out the belly. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, rounding. And you did it. 
even though you consider yourself not flexible, you got through the whole stretch routine. Take a second and leave a comment down below. Tell me which of the stretches felt best to you. Check out the video that's popping up on the screen now for more stretching videos.